So let's let's really break it down. So if you text at that rate, at the time, Bitcoin is worth 64. Today, worth 35, a little bit less now. And he taxed on 750. That means as of now, he's only netted $35,000 after taxes when you take every, when you do all of the math. Dang. Let me break it down for That's you. That's crazy. You're making 750. You gambled, you left home with 400. Because you're being taxed at a 50% tax rate, you really only take it home at the end of the day, $35,000. You're putting your whole body on the line for $35,000. Your boy, Odell Beckham Jr. You know who Odell Beckham Jr. is, Rita? I've heard the name, yeah. He got the hair, he yeah, pretty yeah. hair and all of that. He the wide receiver. He played football, right? Yeah, yeah. But Odell Beckham Jr. Listen, y'all. This is what happens when you gamble. This is what happens when you gamble. Make sure you jump into the Patreon so we can have a couple different discussions on how it is that you can level up. All right. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Odell Beckham Jr. My boy Odell. He said that I'm a bag fumbler. You want to know how he's a bag fumbler? Nope. He didn't get caught up in any scandals. Nope. He didn't find himself at the center of any major controversy is involving some woman or hitting a cop or driving too fast and getting pulled over, doing crazy stuff off the field. He didn't do that. You know what he did? What? He took his entire salary, his entire salary, or at least this is what he said that he was going to do before he did it. And he said he was taking his entire salary in Bitcoin. Now. Here's the tripped out thing about this thing, right? Is that he still has to pay taxes on the ent entire amount, but the prices and cryptocurrency is in the toilet right now. So let me break this down for y'all. Let me break this down for y'all. Matter of fact, let me pull up the Market Watch article and we're going to talk about gambling versus making informed decisions and investing gambling instead of making informed decisions and investing okay and then we're gonna get to this whole tasha k versus cardi b breakdown from my perspective all right so odell beckham jr said i'm taking my talents in bitcoin all right he took his seven hundred and fifty thousand dollar salary now we know he also has endorsements and i think he's with uh whatever that shampoo place is or whatever like that right and I think he's like an Instagram model. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But he took his entire salary in Bitcoin. And we're going to break down exactly how much that cost him. <laughs> so Los Angeles Rams wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. made headlines last November when he announced he would be converting his 2021 salary into Bitcoin. If it's a lie, he told it. Mm -hmm. The problem for Beckham, and this is just a quick hit is that Bitcoin prices have been plummeting. Cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, extended their ongoing slide on Monday. Ether was down 8% over 24 hours, and Bitcoin prices fell below 35000 including a 4% drop in the last 24 hours. Now, let me break this down for you guys. It's not about the amount that Bitcoin is trading for. It's about the percentages. To make it very simple for people like me that are C students, okay? If I buy $1,000 worth of Ford Motor Company, and then I buy $1,000 worth of Apple. Now, Ford is trading for a little bit under $20 a share. Apple, if I'm not mistaken, is trading around $135, $150 a share. I don't know. But if I buy $1,000 in each, so let's say I spent $2,000, and both of them go up 10%, I make $100 on both percentages. The only thing that matters is the percentage, not the amount that the stock is trading for. Okay. So if I buy a thousand dollars in Peloton, which is trash, and then I buy a thousand dollars in Microsoft, which is awesome. And they both go down 10%. Then I lose a hundred dollars on both does not matter what it's trading for, all right? So I want to put that in context for people like me that's slow and went to community college, 
right? I'm not that smart, but I'm going to break it down for y'all. All right, let's continue. So he said he was going to take his entire $750,000 salary in Bitcoin, all right? And Bitcoin is absolutely getting killed right now. So this is bad news for crypto investors and for Becker, who claim to be converting $750,000 into Bitcoin in the deal um, with Block. Block is um, Square Payment Company, Cash App, so on and so forth, right? So this is what he announced. It's a new era to kick that um, to kick that off. I'm hyped to announce that I'm taking my new salary in Bitcoin thanks to Cash App, blah, 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 blah. Now, I'm sure he got the bag for that. But let's just take into consideration and say that he actually did take his, his salary in Bitcoin, right? He had this whole announcement. He did all of this. Ooh. It's the start of a new era, and I'm looking forward to the future. That's why I'm taking my new salary why in Bitcoin. Why uh, is jumping around like that? Anyway, so um, the Action Network is reporting that the deal was made on November, November 12th, a week after the veterans released by the Cleveland Browns. Um, a day when Bitcoin was at $64,000, right? The price is down 46%. So let's just say 50%. You lost 50% of your salary. Dang. But you still got to pay taxes on $750,000. So we're going to break that down, right? Based on today's Bitcoin prices, uh, assuming that he did convert a lump sum into uh, a $750,000 into Bitcoin, the deal was made in November, the salary will be worth $400,000. So where you was originally making $750,000, based off the drop in the valuation, you really only made $401,000. Mm. But you still got to pay taxes on $750,000. He did the reverse on what we do with regard to our 401ks and things like that, right? Mm -hmm. We'll make... 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, 400,000, 500,000 dollars. And then we only got to pay taxes on the difference after we contribute to our 401k. Mm -hmm. He paying taxes on 750,000 because he gambled. He didn't make an informed decision. So he's still paying taxes on 750, even though his salary is really $400,000. Insane. I think that this deserves to be a part of the bag fumblers of the year. <laughs> so t check it out. This is the breakdown. On November 12th, Odell Beckham Jr. signed a deal with the Rams worth $750,000. He announced that he would take it in Bitcoin. At the time, Bitcoin was worth $64,000. Today is worth $35,000. Today, that deal is worth $412,000 approximately. Odell will be taxed on $750,000 federal and CA state taxes, which will be about $50,000. 50% in LA. And this is one of the reasons why we are contemplating not even considering <laughs> LA as a part of our list. You're taxed, taxed effectively when you combine federal and state, when you get past a certain threshold at around 50% of your income, mm -hmm. half of your money that you're making. If you make a million dollars, you making let you taking home less than $500,000 effectively. Cause assuming that you don't have any businesses and write-offs and all this other type of stuff, right? So let's let's really break it down. So if you taxed at that rate, at the time, Bitcoin is worth 64. Today, worth 35, a little bit less now. And he taxed on 750. That means as of now, he's only netted $35,000 after taxes. When you take every when you do all of the math, Dang. let me break it down for you. That's crazy. You're making seven fifty. You gambled. You left home with four hundred, because you're being taxed at a fifty percent tax rate. You really only take it home at the end of the day thirty five thousand dollars. You're putting your whole body on the line for thirty five thousand dollars. If that is not the biggest bag fumble, and here's the biggest biggest part, and this is why you have to say yo i'm not a financial advisor this is what i'm doing because you cannot irresponsibly suggest that people do things that they're not supposed to do and this is why in the patreon link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat this is why in the patreon let me go ahead and, and flip this and let's let's get get to this tasha k thing this is why in the patreon i say you have to become an informed investor and instead of just giving people a quick hit it reminds me of people when you talk to them and they say listen I don't want to learn the math equation. I just want to know the shortcut. No, I'm not giving you the shortcut. I'm going to teach you how to do math. 
I'm going to give you the eight things that you need to look for when you're looking to invest in a company as well as the intangibles. I want to teach you how to have a business mindset, not just how to get rich quick. Because when you're uninformed, you gamble. When you make informed decisions, you invest. Mm -hmm. This is a gamble that did not pay off. If you're making $750,000 and your net turns out to be $35,000, we need to reevaluate this. And I don't know how many other people were influenced by this to be able to do something similar. They may not have invested their entire salary in it, but they have may have made a gamble based off of being influenced by somebody like him. And as a result, they fumbled the bag and he's not going to come back and say, well, that didn't make sense. Right. He just going to take the L and then a bunch of other people going to take the L with him. What are your thoughts in a general sense, Rita, about Odell Beckham Jr. taking his salary in Bitcoin and now that translating into a net of thirty five thousand dollars from seven fifty. If he really did that, then he's uh our word. Cause you said I can't say the word. I didn't know that money man accepted uh Bitcoin also. Oh, you know, Anton gonna have to break that down. Maybe that'll come back tomorrow. Listen, it's a reason why this is the most valuable show on earth. I think that this morning show is better than anything that you're going to get on regular TV. This man literally gambled and lost and nobody is talking about it except for us. That's true. Nobody is talking about it except for but us. It kind of made me think of what we was talking about yesterday with the other celebrities. I wonder if he really did that or if they just paid him to <clears throat> promote, you know, like the whole cash app thing and all of that kind of stuff. I don't think that he would really do that. I don't think that he did it. Well, then that's real. false advertising. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it'll come out later like <laughs> the rest of the And that's why I actually show people what the piss is going on because it's a difference between minding your business, meaning that if it's good enough for me to suggest it to you, then it's good enough for me to do it myself. He don't know nothing about that. He probably has no information. They probably came to him, asked him to do it, paid him to say it, and he still got his money. And AL said if it goes to 100K two years from now, it was a win. It's a win if he didn't sell, A, and B, we still have to make informed decisions and we don't want it to be a gamble. That's the other side of the equation.